Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start as usual, I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation. So let's start today with the one hour time frame because Bitcoin again trying to break out here to the upside. We're fighting against the $9,500 resistance again. We failed right now to break out here and it looks like that we are going to get rejected again, also here the stock Casting is shifted again towards to the downside. RSI came from overbought, now shifted again to the downside. It looks like that we topped out at least for now. I don't believe that we're gonna have here a follow through to the upside, so pr most likely we're gonna retrace back down towards the $9,000 line again, maybe to retest. But um, in the last couple of days and hours, we are just seeing Bitcoin trading sideways and not really taking a decision if we should go up or down. And the thing is that I'm expecting here a breakout towards our bullish target of 12,500 pretty soon latest this weekend or coming week if not maybe we are in for a longer sideways moving than we thought so that means that we might have these price ranges here we can zoom out here a little bit to the daily time frame so this orange box that you see here where we have a bottom of 7000 and the top here at the $10,600 line Maybe we are trading within this box till next year, until the date before the halfening. So that means that we could stay in this range here and not top out somewhere at around 12,000 here and have a retracement back down into the box before the halfening. So it is possible that we first gonna stay in this box, close all the gaps that we have in this area and then have the breakout to the upside and then also close the future gap that we have up here at $12,000. So it could be that that gap over here will get closed on the next real bull run and not here just on this reaction rally that we're seeing right now. So if you're not going up here to a at least close this gap at 12,000 and then retrace back down to close all the other gaps. I think that most likely this gap we're gonna feel after we stayed in this uh, accumulation zone down here. So this orange box that I have uh, down here in this area, this is most likely the accumulation time and zone for Bitcoin. So that means that during this time it is very good to buy Bitcoin. Maybe not the best time to trade with leverage because with these up and downs can stop you out or liquidate you very very fast. So right now you should be more focused on buying Bitcoin, not selling Bitcoin, just buying in whatever price you see here. Of course it's better if you can grab some Bitcoins down here in the 7000 area but I believe that after this accumulation phase here just before the halfening next year we're gonna see a huge rally to the upside and this was like the last chance to get some uh, cheap bitcoins and be in for the next uh, big parabolic bull rally that will bring us to new all-time highs so what we can do right now is just accumulate as much bitcoins as we can so we also have to look here in the shorter time frames uh, what price levels is good to buy in or maybe if you want to trade with some leverage and just uh, short on the top and long the bottom when you see here the indicators overbought or oversold so here in the one hour it looks quite overbought most likely we're gonna reverse back down if we go into the four hour time frame here also stochastic is overbought but RSI still has a little bit of fuel left so here maybe we could stay in this upper region for a few hours left before we retrace uh, back down maybe testing the 50 line here in the RSI or even drop below and also bring the stochastic down so also here in the four hour it looks like that we might come here to an end and we should expect another correction here towards the support at around 9000 if we're going into the daily time frame here also you can see that the stochastic is shifted to the downside RSI is still above the 50 that is good so we're still trading above the 200 daily moving average which is also very bullish for the long term of course very bullish but of course we could move here easily up and down from the 200 daily moving average so as I told you it is possible that also on Bitcoin we're gonna see something similar as we had here in the altcoins where we first uh, had this pump after the death cross then retrace back down and now we're just moving sideways here uh, between the, the 20 let's say the 20 and the 200 daily moving average so also on Bitcoin something similar could happen and uh, bring us in this orange uh, box here that would bring us in a weekly or monthly accumulation 
transaction time just still before the happening uh, next year so that would mean that we would trade within this area before we see a real breakout to the upside and usually we also see new all-time highs always just after the happening so i'm very bullish for next year but the thing is that till then we could stay in this uh, range here for quite some time and also if we have a look again here on the futures contract you can see that uh, we have these gaps below of us and also above of us so it is very possible that we first gonna feel all these gaps that we have below of us before we start to trade to the upside and this is just the case if we are not going now up here to, to fill the gap at 12,000 and also break it to the upside if we would do so then of course this theory would be denied but if we're not able right now to push through here and test it, the main resistance here at around 12,500 and maybe also break it then I believe that we're gonna stay in this accumulation phase uh, till next year so let's see and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos also check out the links down below in the video description because if you want to trade with uh, leverage uh, you can use my invitation code for bybit that's the exchange that i'm using with my invitation code you can get 60 dollars for free immediately and also some other links how to get uh, some free uh, cryptos and also free prepaid credit cards and also have a look here on the kudo miner that's the miner that i'm using while i'm working on the pc with my invitation code you can get 10,000 satoshi sign up bonus for free so give it a try so have a nice weekend guys thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one bye